Labour has demanded a, a declaration of a state of emergency. That's not been granted by government. In order to halt all forms of mining, that as well has not been granted as at yet, as we know. Immediate evacuation of all mining equipment in forest reserve and around water bodies that we know. Uh, government has not issued any directive in that regard. The deployment of police and military to destroy mining equipment around water bodies and forest reserves, the government's response is that it will ramp up its enforcement. And then we know as well that the Acts for the revocation of LI 2462, that's a law allowing mining in forest reserves. That is to be revoked when Parliament reconvenes. Uh, we'll get an update from the Lands and Natural Resources Minister uh, for you shortly as well. And then the establishment of a special court to prosecute uh, illegal mining offences. We know that the Attorney General is to collaborate with the Chief Justice uh, with Swiss adjudication in that matter. Well, government has today issued yet another statement. Amongst many things, the government says that it's concluded operational measures to intensify the operation halt geared at ridding the river bodies of mining activities. Also, the government says it is collaborating with small scale miners, that's the Small Scale Miners Association of Ghana, in this particular fight. And also, river bodies and forest reserves remain red zones that's uh, the latest from the uh, the latest government statement but the minister himself has been speaking uh, this morning and we're going to bring you details of that particular statement where he, amongst many things says that whatever measures can be taken within the context of a state of emergency on the river bodies the law strengthens us or mandates us to take those measures and i think the focus of government is to continue with that small scale mining is not permitted in forest reserves but the attorney general and the president and government will have to decide that's on the question of a declaration of a state of emergency now he goes on to say that as a government we will continue to take measures that are necessary to deal with illegal mining we are considering restricting the importation of shanfan machines that's the latest